Hi, my name's Simon Eastwood. I'm married to Joanne, I have two children, Isaac and Theo, and I'm the manager of the Jonas Centre in Wensleydale. Well, back in 1977, I went on a Pathfinder camp, and the first year I was not interested in hearing the stories of the gospel at all. But in 1978, I realised there was something more to this Jesus, uh, and I came to faith at a, at a Pathfinder camp in Climping in Sussex. Uh, in 1978 and that's how my faith started. Every evening we had a meeting, there were talks and it made us think about why we were here, what the Bible said, who Jesus was and we were asked to make a decision as to whether or not we felt Jesus was someone we wanted to follow uh, and I made that decision uh, and have followed Jesus ever since. Being a Christian is never easy. Uh, when you sign up to be a Christian or when you say you'll become a Christian you, you make that step of faith knowing that there'll be difficulties uh, I've suffered bereavement, I've, I've lost a child, um, I've lost my mother recently. Uh, just because you're a Christian doesn't mean your life will be any easier. Uh, to be fair, it, it can mean it's even harder. I think the fact that I know I can lean on Jesus, I can pray, and I know that God is by my side effectively as a, as a friend, just as you have a friend to talk to at any time you need one, uh, I know that Jesus is there to lean on in those difficult and dark times. Well, the, the man who led that Pathfinder camp in 1978, he set up the Jonah Centre in 1996 uh, and it was set up for churches and schools and individuals to really get away from stressful situations uh, and obviously here in the Yorkshire Dales it's, it's very peaceful, very relaxing uh, and we have about three and a half thousand people a year uh, come and stay at the centre. I came to uh, take over running the centre in 2002 when uh, my predecessor George retired uh, and it was ironic that, that 30 years on from uh, becoming a Christian, I've ended up working with the man who was instrumental in running that camp and leading me to faith. Uh, we basically say in our mission statement that we're a Christian holiday and conference centre designed to provide accommodation and resources for those wanting to get away from the strains and stresses of everyday life. That can be individuals, that can be special needs groups. We do a lot of work with hospices, with social services, with mental health charities. People who wouldn't really have an opportunity to get away uh, and we heavily subsidise those holidays so that people can have an affordable holiday in a beautiful part of the world. You see the difference on their faces, you see the stress, you, you read about their situations before they arrive so we can be sensitive to any needs they have, but you see the stress drain away from their faces but, and by the time they leave you can see that we've given them a little bit of relaxation away from some quite nasty situations that admittedly they have to go back to, but they've gone away with a, with a peaceful memory of, of coming here. And they, I think they sense God's peace while they're here. We're used by many churches to bring children away, uh, really for fun and for fellowship. Uh, and, and a lot of the children that come from inner cities, from, from Leeds, from, from Hull, Bradford, they get a taste of the countryside, which some of them have never ever seen before. In my life, friends come and go. Uh, Jesus never comes and goes. Once you invite Jesus into your life, he is there. Uh, and over the years we've had our difficult times as, as a family, as a couple and, and as an individual and I know that Jesus is there whenever I need him uh, and I would encourage people who are still searching for that missing thing in their life whatever it is they need, Jesus can provide for, for that. I mean 30 years of being a Christian uh, I would say there's been more ups than downs and I think at the end of the day being a Christian doesn't mean it has to be boring Christianity is fun uh, and I think people see that in my, in my character, my, in my sense of humour uh, and hopefully that, that, that shows people that Jesus had a sense of humour too.